In today's episode, we're exploring one of Busan's hidden gems, an artistic neighborhood with pastel-colored buildings, oceanfront cafes, and an Instagrammer's paradise with endless places to take amazing photos. So join us today and discover the Santorini of Busan, Hinyol Culture Village. From Heyende, the scenic journey will take you roughly 40 minutes or so by taxi. But if you're coming into Busan by train, then this area is only 15 minutes away from Busan Station. You'll quickly realize why this area is known as the Santorini of Busan. This neighborhood is built on rocky cliffs facing the ocean, and each and every one of the buildings have their own cute personality and charm. The streets are also tastefully designed with mosaic tiles and artist murals. So right now we're in an area called Yongdo, but if you see right across the bay, there's an area over there called Songdo, and that's like a really popular vacation spot for people who live over here in Busan. Take a look. That's where they have the cable cars. So. If you're planning on visiting this area, then I'd also highly recommend combining these two trips together. Anyways, back to Hinyol Culture Village. Do you see what I meant when I said that you could take some amazing photos here? In fact, this area even became the film set of several dramas and movies. So when you're walking through this area, you're going to find a whole bunch of cute little alleyways around here, but you still have to remember to be kind of respectful because there are people living through here, so we want to kind of keep it a little quiet when we're walking through. Isn't this place so beautiful? It has so much character to it. And if you see right below us, you'll see one of the uh, prettiest coastal walks that you'll see in all of Korea. So this is kind of like one of the things that I love living about Busan because they have so many of these cute little areas that you'll be able to discover. And over time, you'll end up falling in love with this beautiful country. Now, the first migrants to move here were the refugees from the Korean War. And for a long time, this neighborhood wasn't well kept. And then, I think local artists came into this area around 2010 or so, and they started revitalizing this area. And I'm so glad that they did, because now, this has become one of our favorite date spots. And this right here is one of the most famous photo spots. So right after you're done taking a picture over there, you'll have the option of going down the coastal walkway or going down this way, which leads you down to a rocky beach. So let's check this out first. Don't get me started. Now those stairs were honestly really steep. So if you got bad knees, then you might not want to come down this way. Now, you've probably seen these stone towers before in dramas, and they say that if you place a stone down, you can make a wish. And I'm wishing that you would do me this huge favor and hit that like button. And soon, we'll be walking through a cave inside these rocky cliffs. 
that leads us towards the single best photo spot in this entire area. So now we just made it down to the coastal walk. This is supposedly one of the prettiest coastal walks in all of Korea. So let's take a look. So have you ever seen the show Running Man where they always get the contestants to do this challenge where they take off their shoes and then they walk on these like painful stones? I'm gonna try that now. So this is actually take two because now my wife forgot to press the red button. <laughs> and this thing is so painful, I don't wanna do it again, but I'll do it again for you. So this is supposed to increase your blood circulation by stepping on them and they're little stones that are put in the ground and they're incredibly painful to walk on. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be beautiful. <laughs> yeah, but then there's like really painful ones over there. Uh, oh, the black oh, one looks so hard. So how did you enjoy Busan Santorini? If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time somewhere in Korea.